In this video, let's look at what is meant by data. Let's understand what a database is and how DBMS helps us. And finally, let's understand the function of SQL, which is popularly referred to as SQL. Let's get started. Data is a collection of facts. From a computing standpoint, it is the logical representation of information that describes any real world object. As an example, your name, age, gender, and ethnicity are some examples of data that describe you. Likewise, the name, breed, height, and weight are some examples of data that describe your dog. In this sense, every object that you can think of may have certain data that describes it. As you may imagine, there can be data about any random object in the world. A database is a meaningful collection of data around relevant concepts or things. For example, a school database may have data about the objects or concepts that are relevant to a school environment. It may have data on the teachers that teach in the school or the students that go to the school or the library where you have a bunch of different books. Likewise, a hospital database may have data about objects that belong to a hospital environment. Think of doctors, patients, and nurses. Having understood what a database is, let's now look at a DBMS, a database management system. A database management system is a software application that consists of multiple programs that help you add, remove, update, and search data within the database. Think of a DBMS as the framework that allows you access to the data in the database and provides an ability to change the data as and when required. A DBMS also provides security to the data in the database by controlling access by various users. Let's now look at Structured Query Language or SQL. SQL is a programming language that enables you to interact with the data within the database. Essentially, it has four broad categories, but to keep things simple, we'll only look at two broad categories that are very popular within SQL. Data definition language. This deals with how you would like the data to be organized and stored within the database. Some example commands are create, alter, drop, truncate, etc. Next, we have data manipulation language. It provides a way to change or manipulate the data. It is used to store, retrieve, modify, delete, or update data in the database. These are the most common SQL statements. Examples include select, insert, update, delete, etc. In a relational database, data is stored in the form of tables, which in turn are made up of rows and columns. Along the columns, you have multiple characteristics that define a particular object and you'll have one row for each object. Let's revisit our school example and write some simple SQL to learn more on this. In our school example, couple of relevant things or concepts we looked at were teachers and students. Assuming that someone has already added the data for teachers and students in our database, Let's see how we can answer some simple questions around the school with some simple SQL. To get an idea of what are the names of the teachers in our school, we would query the database using a statement that looks like this. Select name from teachers. The database will then return the names of all the teachers for which we have the data in the teachers table. Let's say we also want to look at the subjects that these teachers teach along with their names. All we need to do is add the subjects column in the select query and the database will then return all the names of the teachers and the subjects that they teach. Let's say you now want to get the names and grade of all the students who have scored a GPA of 4.0. The select query for this task would look like select name comma grade from students where GPA is equal to 4.0. While this is a trivial example, this gives us a sense of how we can fetch the required data using SQL. Let's quickly summarize. Data is a collection of facts that describe any object. 
example, name, age, gender are some examples of facts that describe you. Database is a meaningful collection of data around relevant living or non-living objects. Example, school database, hospital database, etc. A DBMS is a software application that acts as a framework that helps you access and modify the data in the database. Finally, Structured Query Language or SQL is the programming language that you use to interact with the data in the database. And with that, let's wrap up this lecture.